who is host. To understand this, you have to know how the Warframe squad connection works. In most games like say Counter Strike, you all connect to a central server and all of you get a ping depending on your distance to the server and how good your internet connection is. But here in Warframe, the one that invites the rest of you or the one that joins the mission and the rest of you join him will be the host and therefore will not have any ping. If say the host is in Australia and the rest of you are in EU, you'll have a lot of ping. But thankfully there is a way to know who is the host, if possible change it to be optimal. Just look at these names on top right, you see this guy with the one next to his name, he is host. You might be asking, but how do I know how much ping do I have? You just go into the options, in interface, and then put show FPS to on. And then in missions you'll see your ping here. If you're not the host that is, if you're the host there will be no ping. Ping limit. Say you don't like how much ping you're getting in missions you join. You just go into the options, under the tab gameplay, and set ping limit. Beware though, if you set your ping limit too low, you'll be playing solo. Chat messages. Did you know that you can put timestamps on chat messages and disable inline messages? By inline messages I mean when you're talking to someone and someone else messages you and that message just jumps in the middle of your chat. And if you talk to multiple people at the same time, it gets all confusing. Just go to the options, chat, and set inline messages to disable and timestamp to in it. Chat tabs. Do you use tab key to go forward in chat tabs? If yes, have you ever got pissed because you overdid it and now you have to either use your mouse or go all the way around to be on the tab you want? Luckily for you, there is a way around this. If you use shift plus tab, you can go backward in the tabs. Did you know when hacking Corpus consoles, you can use both left and right click to rotate in different directions? Also, to use the ciphers, you have to press the key Y, it's hard coded, it can't be changed. Voice chat. Did you know that Warframe has a built in voice chat? It's a push to talk with the key C. Sure, it's not the best option, but it has its own uses. Did you know you can customize your user interface or UI for short? Just go to Options, Interface, Customize, UI, and here you'll see a bunch of options for you to choose from, with some being unlocked and the rest costing 50 plat to buy. My favorite is Fortuna theme with Vitruvian background and corpus sounds. Infinite Parkour Did you know if you do a bullet jump, then a double jump, then even aim glide, and then hit a wall and do a wall run, you can bullet jump and aim glide again, and if you hit another wall and do another wall run, you can do it again and again. It really makes you feel more like a space ninja when you keep your momentum through your movement without hitting the ground. Just beware though, if you do a double jump after you did the wall run, you won't be able to do a bullet jump after it. Are you sick of constantly having to press 1 when playing Gauss or Korra? Or the key 5 for operator mode being so far? Worry not my friend, you can put secondary keys. I like to put first ability and operator mode in back and forward thumb key of my mouse, it becomes so much better. Also I put the ALT fire key on the key ALT. Honestly it should be ALT by default. Defense spawn rate. Did you know that defense missions have the highest spawn rate of all game modes? Yes, survival fans, defense spawns more enemies. And you know what that means, if you want to farm something that drops from enemies, say polymer bundle, it's a better option to farm it in defense than survival. I honestly wasn't sure about this until recently that I tested it, so some of my old resource farm video suggestions are not optimal anymore. Frick. Yeah.